Okay, yeah, welcome everyone to uh, another one of my ZBrush tutorials. And what I'm going to show you how to do today here is how to make uh, dice. So uh, I've done this off and on over the years, but um, anyway, I have made some uh, some alphas, especially for this, so that the uh, small circles you see on the dice are all of uniform size, and they're uh, they're distributed depending on the number. But anyway, we're going to get started here, and during the course, I'll point out a few things about making dice. So what we start with is a cube, and I just uh, kind of realized early, uh, as I uh, use ZBrush, before you even make this a poly mesh, you can subdivide this uh, cube, as I'll illustrate here. You can go ahead and divide it a couple times before you even make it into a poly mesh. And uh, I'm also going to point out some things about polygons, uh, especially regarding the numbers of polygons and the uh, ease with which you can handle uh, models that have lower polygon counts. But anyway, so we've got already got it subdivided, and we haven't even made a poly mesh yet. So we're going to go ahead and convert this to a poly mesh. And now we're going to uh, go ahead and add our toy plastic material. It's uh, white here, uh, the best way to... Uh, you know, make a dice here. And I'm going to divide it a couple more times. So I'm going to divide it up to three. And as you can see up here, I got 33,000. So we'll divide it once again. Now we're at, a, we're at a pretty good count, but it's still easy to manipulate and transform the objects at this level. But since I want to apply these alphas <coughs> and I want the uh, image to be as uh, sharp as possible, we're going to uh, dyna mesh it at. Uh, 256 and then do it a couple more times from there. But anyway, <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and delete the lower here. And from here, uh, I'm going to make a dynamash. And just to get a little bit more out of this, I'm going to go to 256, which is double uh, 128. And uh, we're going to go ahead and, and dynamash this. Now, as you can see, our, we're at 326,842 uh, active points or polygons. So that, that I've, I've found out gets you a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, smooth uh, a dice. And especially when I begin to use my alphas here. <coughs> but anyway, so far we've got uh, 326,000. And this is still pretty easy to manipulate. It's not too heavy uh, or dense or mesh wise. And it's fairly smooth. So what we're going to do here, we've got the. Uh, a cube ready, and uh, so I'm going to import these uh, custom alphas I have made to make dice, and I'll point out something a little ba a bit about making uh, di dice straight, as they call them. <coughs> so we're going to import this alpha here, and I have it in my, uh, I've already put it in my ZBrush images, and I'm going to start with the six. We're going to open that up. I'm going to make that a uh, stencil, and if you press the space bar, you can move this around. So we're going to scale this down a little bit, and we're going to get it centered as close as possible. Let me scale it down just a little bit more, and now we're going to invert the stencil, and also we're going to put it in wrap mode. This way it adheres to the surface. Now, when I get ready to paint it, I eliminate, I turn this alpha off, and I'm going to choose a black color. We're going to have the MRGB on. And let's see here. I believe, let me turn the alpha off on just temporarily. Okay, our, uh, we need to fill this again, I think, is what we need to do. We need to fill our main object once again. Okay, now, we're going to go back down to our black material. Now, what I found out is that the, 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 uh, dep the uh, depressions in the surface are not, uh, you, can, you can bring your draw si your Z intensity down to 5. And you still want your MRG be on so you get the shiny uh, plastic bit. But what I'm going to do now is I have my stencil on, I have it in the... Uh, I have it in the wrap mode. I have it in inverted. So what you just do, do is just go ahead and draw in the circles a little bit. 
I didn't have the Z add on. We're going to put it in Z sub since we want to press down into the material there. And you see when you get that little reflection, you've got it about as deep as you want. So we get Z add in RGB. And um, right here. And now we can turn our stencil off. So we got one side of the die. Now one thing I found out, you can also uh, smooth this a little bit. And just smooth each one by holding the shift key. And uh, got that one. Now to make dice straight, what you need to do is you got six on one side. On the opposite side, you want to put the number one. That's what I want to point out. And it just works out that way. Uh, that's the way dice are made. So we're going to import another alpha here. And uh, now I've got my coffee over there going. So, oh, need to import our, import our alpha. Need the one. Open it. And we go down to make stencil. And since we were doing this previously, of course, it doesn't save the inverse. So we need to invert it, and of course you can move it a little bit. I don't want to scale it too much because I want each uh, circle or dot in there to be fairly uh, uniform in size. Uh, we may be a little bit off, but I've done this several times, and this this works out pretty well. So what you do is you got Z sub MRGV, and you draw in there until you get a little reflection. You turn your stencil off. You hit the shift, you can smooth it out a little bit, and go on to the next side. So we've got six on one side and one on another. And when we paint our other sides, we're going to start with five. And we import our other alpha here for the five side. And we get the five, open it. We go to make stencil. And then we turn this off. We go to stencil, we go to, uh, we're going to just need to move it a little bit. Hold down and shift the uh, space bar. And might be off a little bit with the scale just a little bit. Looks pretty close. So we go back, and we got a Z sub MRGB. We got, we got to invert it. Yeah. And we have it in the wrap mode. So we just color in our little dot there until we get that little glint reflection. And, do 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 do. and I guess it's going to be pretty deep there. We turn the stencil off. Be smooth. And so we got our five done. Now we need to switch over to the other side. We need to import our uh, the uh, two stencil. Like so turn off the alpha, turn on the stencil, and invert it. And then we hit the space bar to move it. Uh, oh well, we're gonna uh, we need the uh, we need the two stencil. Sorry about that. Oh, two side. We need to make it into a stencil. So we got our two there. We turn that out off. We go to stencil. And invert it. We might want to scale this down a little bit. Move it a little bit, and we got everything is set as before. We just paint in there, and then uh, turn the stencil off, and shift, and smooth it. So now we got the five and the two, the six and the one. Now we need the three and the four. So we'll import our four image. And we'll go down to uh, make stencil, <coughs> and we'll invert our stencil.
pencil and wrap mode on. We'll move it a little bit. Looks like it's pretty close. Turn it off and we just paint. And we'll just paint in there. Turn our stencil off. Get the uh, ship, smooth it out a little bit. Alright, now we've got, all we have left is uh, the three. So we'll import the three image. There. And we'll make it a stencil. Turn the off and off. Convert it. Space bar, move it. And then we just paint it in. Off. So we got one completed, and uh, of course you want to make sure you bake your materials. So we hit G, and we want color and material, and we want double sided, and we want to fade off. Drop now, hit G, pick it up, turn it all the way around, hit G again, drop now, G, pick it up. Turn over to the 6 1, G, drop, G, pick it up. And uh, I think we've got all the sides, but just to make sure, we'll do that uh, once more again on that. So we've got our one die completed. And now from here, I've got some uh, coffee heating on the stove, but I think it will sit for a little bit. Uh, <coughs> so, anyway, what you can do. Of course, you turn on your floor, and you got one die there on your floor. And so uh, you can crank up that grid a little bit. <coughs> so now, what you simply can do here is uh, I don't know what that EBS warning is all about. We can just duplicate that. And uh, man, what a bummer. And I can't mute it either. Oh, anyway, so uh, we go to a move tool. And uh, we can move that duplicate out. And so now you can play with this yourself. But there's a way you can rotate them where all sevens show. But the way I've got them, it's all showing doubles. So <laughs> anyway, now you can now you can still indiv individually rotate the die while they're in, as a sub tool. So anyway, we'll just do a quick display here, and I'll take care of my coffee on the stove, and I'll finish up this tutorial. Of course, you might want to change the lighting a little bit, add some lights in there, get it well lit, just add a bunch of lights in it, whatever. And of course, I like to uh, change my back to kind of a gray neutral color and hit the BPR. And there you go. Well, you can fix this lighting issue here. Um, I guess I can take it up here and bring it down here. So the face is. Anyway, once you go to the, uh, you go into your settings here, you can turn on smooth normals, uh, soft Z, uh, soft RGB, and if you want to turn down the strength of shadows, you can go up here. You can add blur to the radius and uh, numerous other things. So anyway, we'll uh, hit this one more time. Of course, you can sit there and play with the settings and get the lighting. Of course, you might want to have your perspective on, uh, such as that. You might want to move your dice around. So anyway, so thanks for watching, and I hope everybody has enjoyed my video tutorials. And that's it for now, and uh, we'll be covering some more. I'll be doing some more things here. So make sure you stay tuned to uh, my YouTube channel here, and watch my ZBrush tutorials. And that's it for today. So thanks, everyone.